Hello, welcome to the vocabulary for the introduction to power lessons. Let's start. Okay, let's talk about a first word is linguistic. Linguistic. Linguistic means related to language or about language. It's an adjective. So, linguistic factors. I mentioned linguistic factors. A factor is an element. For example, it's a,、uh, a piece of something. So, linguistic factors means、uh, elements about language, elements related to language. Or even more simply, things. Things related to language. And then in this talk, I talk about non linguistic factors. Of course, non means not, it's negative. So, non linguistic factors means things not about language, things not related to language. So, in the talk, I'm talking about, for example,、uh, two different things. One are emotional factors,、right? emotional elements, emotional things. And then the other is linguistic factors. So, for example, study method, that's a linguistic factor. It's connected to language learning very directly. It's a linguistic factor, it's a language related thing. On the other hand, emotion is not directly related, is not directly connected to language learning. At least most people don't think so. So it's a non linguistic factor. All right, great. So that's linguistic and factor. Let's talk about next subconscious. I mentioned the word subconscious. Sometimes you hear the word unconscious, is another.、Uh, Synonym for that, but subconscious means something that is under your normal thinking. So, for example,、uh, if you're、uh, quite hungry, suddenly you find that you're hungry, but you're busy, you're thinking about something else, you're reading a book, but kind of under your thinking, you have this idea I'm hungry, I'm hungry, I'm hungry. It's not a conscious thought. It's not a strong, direct thought. It's not at the top of your brain. A sub means under or below. So it's kind of in the, the bottom, the back of your brain, this sort of quiet, small voice or this quiet, small、um, thought. So that's subconscious. So I mentioned that you want to engage your subconscious. To engage means、uh, to use, to use or to, it's like turn on. So to turn on your subconscious, to use your subconscious, to engage your subconscious. It means you want to use those emotions that are in the back of your brain or the bottom of your brain. You want to use that quiet voice. You want to use those. Strong emotions that are kind of in the back because they're very powerful. So, engage your subconscious means use those,、It、means choose to use them in a powerful way. I also talk about engaging your physiology. Physiology. Physiology means、uh, related to the body. So, it, it's related to the word physical. Right. Physical means body, something that is connected to your body or in your body, and not your brain, not your mind. It's body. And physiology, again, is a similar idea. Physiology means、uh, what is happening in your body. It's the systems in your body, it's the parts of your body. So, again, physio- engage your physiology means use your body, right? Engage is turn on or use. Physiology, body. So, engage your physiology, engage your body, use the parts of your body, use the systems in your body. That's what that means. All right, great. Next,、uh, let's talk about the word peak. So, peak I mentioned in the、uh, main story. 
Peak means top. Now, often we use this to describe, for example, a mountain. The very top of a mountain, we say it's the peak, the mountain peak, or the peak of the mountain. It's the very top part. We also use it uh, in the phrase peak performance. Of course, performance means uh, performing or doing something. Peak means top, so it means doing something in a top way, in the very best way. Sometimes we use this with sports. So he is a peak performance athlete. He's a top performing athlete. He's the very best performing athlete. So that's, uh, again, peak meaning top, uh, very top, or sometimes meaning best. Okay, so peak meaning top, so emotional state. I talk about peak emotional state. So top or best peak. Emotional, of course, feelings. And state. State means um, kind of your uh, situation or experience. So an emotional state means it's the general emotional feeling you have right now. So I might say, I'm in an angry emotional state. That means it's, it's kind of a long-term idea. It means generally for some time, I feel angry. Now, this is a very formal kind of uh, academic or intellectual way to say I'm angry, <laughs> okay? So this is a, um, a little bit more formal kind of English, but again, an emotional state. It's, uh, it's a general emotional feeling, and it, it has a little bit of the idea of uh, a long time. So a peak emotional state, a top or best emotional state, it means feeling very good for a while, right? Say, I'm in a peak emotional state. I'm feeling very good for some time. Okay, now that is the uh, vocabulary lesson for the introduction to power. Of course, if there are other words you did not understand, you can use the text, use the transcript, and a dictionary and, you know, just uh, find the word in your dictionary and write it on the text, and you can learn more vocabulary that way. It's very difficult for me to guess exactly which words you know and which words you don't know, because every student is different. So I will cover some of the main words, the words I think are quite important. But if there are other words you don't know, just use the text and a dictionary and write the meaning on the text. It's fine. Okay, I will see you next for the mini story. Thanks and see you again soon.